All right, you guys, today I check out how to create this VHS CRT text effect here in Photoshop inspired from Doron Studio. I'm going to start with this artboard size. Let's go and select the ellipse tool. And I'm going to go and draw a circle right here, an oval, and go to the thumbnail of the ellipse, double click and recolor it white. Click OK. I'm going to uncheck the background, double click on the ellipse, and I'm going to uncheck the green and the blue. So it's going to be red. Click OK. Press and hold Alt, drag it to the right to duplicate, press and hold Shift also to isolate. Let's go back to the new layer, double click, and I'm going to uncheck the red, check the green, click OK, press and hold Alt, drag it, double click on the new layer, and uncheck the green, check the blue, click OK. All right, so from here, I'm going to go back to the layers, and I'm going to press and hold Shift, select all the ellipse layers, and press Control T, and I'm going to stretch it out, and I'm going to go to Image Size, Decrease it to 9, click OK, zoom in. So it should look something like this. Let's go back to the layer, make sure to uncheck the layer, click somewhere here. And let's go back to the ellipse and change it to the rectangle tool. Let's go to the fill color and change it to black. And I'm going to go here to the bottom and create a line right here. So it should look something like this. And now we're going to save this as a pattern, click on edit and select define pattern. Rename it, click OK. Now let's go and create a new file, new, and I'm going to go with 1400 by 788. Click OK. Recolor the background black, select the type tool, type in something, and I'm going to go to the type color and change it to some light gray. I'm going to go with this, click OK. Font is mango grotesque bold italic. Let's go to filter, blur, and select Gaussian blur. Select convert a smart object and I'm going to add 10 to the radius. Click OK. I'm going to go to this text layer and press Ctrl G to group it. And let's double click on the group one folder. And from here, activate the drop shadow, increase the opacity to 100. And I'm going to change up the color to blue. Click OK. And I'm going to go to the angle and make sure to uncheck the use global light. Very important. And now I can go to the angle and change it to 180. Decrease the size to zero, spread zero, Distance, I'm going to go with 14. So now I'm going to go back to the drop shadow here and click on the plus to duplicate it. And make sure that you're on the top one here. And all you need to do is change up the color to yellow. Click OK. And change up the angle to zero. Click OK. And now let's go and add a new adjustment layer. I'm going to go with pattern. Click on it. And let's go and change it up to the new pattern that I created previously. Angle should be on zero. And the scale, I'm going to go with 350. Click OK. I'm also going to drag the pattern above all the layers and change the blend mode to overlay. And it's going to look something like this. And you can increase or decrease the CRT effect by going back to the Gaussian blur here. Double click on it and you can decrease it. And check this out. It is going to reduce it or make it more blurry. All right. So from here, I'm going to press and hold shift and select all the layers. Right click, convert to smart object. And let's go to filter, blur. Select Gaussian Blur again. Here I'm going to go with 23. Click OK. Drag and drop the layer into the plus to duplicate it. Let's go to top layer. Double click on the Gaussian Blur and decrease it to 4. Click OK. Double click on the top layer to open up the blend mode. Uncheck the blue. Click OK. And that's how you make this vintage retro CRT effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.